Number 18, a fireman 56 meters away from a burning building directs a stream of water from a ground level fire hose at an angle of 24 degrees above the horizontal as shown in the figure. If the speed of the stream as it leaves the hose is 40 meters per second, at what height will the stream of water strike the building? So here's what we have. Fireman, he's, uh, of course he's laying on the ground because we're assuming that this is starting off at zero. And, um, we know that at an angle of 24 degrees, the initial velocity is 40 meters per second. So the initial velocity to the to the x-axis and the initial velocity to the y-axis can be calculated um, using the hypotenuse times the sine of 24 degrees equals my that equals my y that equals the and the opposite over the hypotenuse and 40 times cosine of 24 degrees is going to give you the x so that roughly ends up being 16.27 and and that's meters per second and 36.54 meters per second so, and we're aiming at this building that's 56 meters away, and we want to know where that stream of water hits, how high. So, the first thing we can do is for our x component, we know the x component is 56 meters over, and it's traveling at 36.54 meters per second. So, 56 meters divided by 36.54 meters per second equals uh, the time which equals 1.53 seconds 1.53 seconds is the entire trip of water so now let's look at our our vertical movement and we can use this time because we know that by that time it's going to hit the building so our change in y equals our initial velocity times our time plus one half of our acceleration times time squared. So we we can remember our initial velocity. Our initial velocity was 16.27 meters per second times 1.53 seconds plus negative 4.9 times 1.53 squared and that should give you a height a change in y equal to 13.38417 meters if you're wondering where this equation comes from or how I get it Watch the video for question number 17, and about five minutes into the video, I finish answering the question, and I explain how to derive this equation.